So in this video, I want to talk specifically about um, something I haven't talked about in a long time. And uh, since the other videos have been a lot deeper, this one's gonna be a little more playful and it's about working the room in bars and clubs and loud environments, how you go in or in, in networking environments, how do you work a room? And uh, this is one of the easiest ways to meet a girl to, in a bar, meet a date, but it does take some fucking balls. So if you wanna understand how this works and, and it's one of the best ways to truly build your freedom from outcome and your social confidence. If you wanna understand how this works, make sure to stay tuned to this video. And if you stay to the end of the video, I've got a surprise for you. It's gonna be a way to um, deepen this process. I'm gonna add, it's gonna, it's gonna be a, a, something we're gonna do later to really give you a better understanding of it, maybe from your perspective uh, versus my perspective. And I'll explain what that means later at the end of the video. So let's talk about that. What does working the room mean? I learned this from uh, uh, an old coach of mine many years ago. It's a simple principle. It's something he used to do, he loved to do. And he said it was one of his favorite things to do when he went to bars. And it terrified me at the time, so I wanted to do it. Now, the interesting thing that happened, I was about out in uh, Montana in Bozeman and I had Landon there with me. You guys know Landon answers all the comments and he said, I want to learn to work a room. I want to learn to talk to girls in these bars. And we went out to these bars and they were all filled with college chicks, right? And not my thing anymore by any means. And the problem with these college bars is it's next shiny object, tons of energy, loud, obnoxious, boom, 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 boom. And the girls and the guys are running from all over the place because they're just kids, really. And I'm not really interested in this, but he wanted to check it out. So I was like, okay. And so he started asking me, he goes, what do I do to meet women in these college bars? Because it was overwhelming with all the noise and the distractions going on. I was like, okay, I haven't done this in a long time, but I'm gonna show you. And uh, because we had just come from another calmer bar where you can relax, make eye contact, be social. But this one, it's just not that way. There's just craziness everywhere. And I said, you got to become a big energy. Like if the noise is bump, 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 going like this, you've got to start. Picture this energy up here in the upper part of my body. I've got to ground really deep first off. I've got to feel my whole body. I can't go up into my head. The dancing monkeys are the guys that go to their head and they're just all performing. Hey, how you doing? And they're running around and there's no presence inside of them. So you got to learn to ground really solid and then you become a big energy up here. And you start talking with your hands. You start moving. You start flowing. So first thing we do is we start talking with each other, patting each other in the back, joking, connecting, looking each other in the eyes, feeling the ground beneath us, but still talking really loudly so people around us can hear. The key here is the willingness to be seen expressing yourself, the willingness to be seen expressing yourself. So hear that. Now, the next piece is you got to realize that everybody in a bar like that, that's really noisy. And you can tone this down depending on the environment. So you got to be at the vibration of the bar or a little above and you got to have good presence. So, and you can, t the better your presence, the more you can kind of tone the energy down a bit, the more grounded, the more you can tone the energy down a bit. So the key here is that the women are peacocking with their femininity. They're flowing, they're dressing sexy, they're pulling them in. They're like lures in the room, right? And the more they throw their hair, toss, move in their feminine nature, the more you get pulled in. The dress, the sexier the dress, the more you get pulled in. Well, what are guys doing to, to peacock? I mean, guys could be dressed in a peacocking way, but if you don't back it up with energy, you just look like a dork, right? Like think about Mystery with his painted black nails and his, his outfit, and then he was shy and inward standing on the wall. Well, he would look like some weirdo, but because he owned it, that's what made it work. He was a big energy, he moved, that's what made his energy work, right? And anybody that does anything, you've got to own it. So the guys, they go out and they demonstrate, they peacock by being indifferent to outcome. Remember where I said letting all the women go in that video I did in the past that did so well just a few weeks back? Well, that's literally what they're doing. They're walking around the bar being big and bold with their buddies, but not being attached to anything. Demonstrating how I can talk to you, let it go. I can talk to you, let it go. Bam. Oh, I can be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Oh, got to talk to this other person. I'll be right back. And they're bold and they're forward and they're cocky and they're like, hey, what's your name? How you doing? Or they might be, they might be just nice. Hey, what's up? Hey, oh, you know what? My buddy's coming. I got to go. But the key is they connect, let go, connect, let go, connect, let go. And they don't linger. They don't, go, they don't connect, feel the girl. Hey, how you doing? And then think about her. Hey, how you doing? And as they're talking to somebody else, constantly worried what she's thinking of them. They're constantly just saying, in a sense, I don't give a fuck what you think of me. I'm just going to be me. I'm going to be expressive. I'm going to be loud. Not like a dancing monkey, not like a performer for me. That's the key. How can I express for me? So I started doing this with Landon, being louder and louder and louder. And then as people would go by, I'd yell something to him. 
and then I'd let it go. Maybe, hey, that's a fucking badass jacket. Where'd you get that? Or somebody else came by, hey, what are you drinking right there? And they'd start a conversation. That's the next part. That's why we call it working the room. When you nail these energies, you start to work the room. You start to move around. You walk up and you talk to everybody. Anybody you have like any inkling to talk to, ask them about the jacket, ask them about the hat, short conversation, let it go. Short conversation, let it go. Lean in, hey, tell me more about that. Oh my God, really? Or lean in, oh damn, that dress is so fucking sexy on you. Walk away and then you let it go and you start moving through the bar. Now, what I used to do with students that were really shy, I would take them into a bar that wasn't this high of energy, somewhere in the mid range. And I'd have them work the room in a mid-range bar. I would have them walk up and say hi to every single person at the bar. Just immediately, if they're talking to a person right here, they go right to the next person, next person, next person. Practicing talking to each person for about 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, making friends. The interesting thing is a lot of people, some people didn't want to talk to them, some people do want to talk to them, some people reject them, some people want to pull them in and buy them a drink, and all this stuff starts to happen. And as they relax, going from person to person to person and get more comfortable, get more expressive, start talking with their hands more. And by the way, I'm behind them saying, use your hands more, talk louder, be a bigger energy, because most of them shrink. Even when I tell them that, they still shrink and I have to keep yelling at them. And, and then I have to demo and then come back and yell at, yell at them a little bit more. And pretty soon, people start to watch. This is the interesting part I learned from my mentor that was so cool. If you've been working the room really well and you're owning this section of the room, people start to notice you. And as you go down the bar, saying hi to everybody, joking, oh, I'm just meeting people. Oh, I'm just, I just I decided I want to meet everybody in the room tonight. What's your name? Where are you from? Hey, what are you guys drinking? People at this end of the bar are saying, what's that guy doing? He's talking to everybody. Girls start to notice. They start to notice your social confidence. They start to notice your freedom from outcome. They start to notice your expressiveness and your big energy. If you're doing it really muted, it's not going to work. You got this big expressive energy, powerful energy. You don't have to be chaotic. You don't have to be random. You want to be present and grounded. And as you go from person to person, they start to notice. I always remember this one girl. I was, I was rolling through the bar and I was doing it. It was a lower energy, medium energy bar, but it, there was music playing and stuff. And I was doom to doom going and going and i went around this one corner and this girl was on a date with this guy and she turned right around looked me in the eye and went yes and it was on right there why and this is the key i want you all to hear this she had been watching me for the last 10 20 minutes talk to everybody she was curious he was nervous he got jealous immediately it was very interesting to experience this and I've experienced it many times since, you know. And then next thing you know, you're rolling through the bar. I remember one time I was in Canada doing this. And I'm talking, I'm joking with the bachelorette party. I grab this girl and I push her against the wall. And then this other girl walks up and starts to flirt with me. And then I see this girl from across the bar. She's standing there, right there. And she's looking at me. And before I get into the story, hold on really quick. If you haven't, um, I want to invite you guys to like, subscribe, and share. If you're getting value out of this channel, definitely like, subscribe, and share. Help us to get to 100,000 subscribers. And uh, make sure to put a comment in the video. I definitely want to hear your comments. If you've ever done this, I want to hear your comments. I want you to go out and try to do this or do this. Literally just do it and put a comment in the video too. I really want to hear the comments after you go out and do this, okay? And uh, help us get to 100,000 subscribers. Help us to share. Okay, let's get back to the story. So I'm in this bar and I've been working the room for a while, the whole space, and moving. And now I'm hitting a flow state. That's the key. Is not only are people watching me, I'm hitting this flow state with people. I'm, 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 so, I'm so free from outcome. I'm just flowing where the energy takes me now. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks of me. And that starts to happen. Real deep flow state. Total freedom from outcome. And I see this girl and she's just staring at me. Now she's watching me move. She can feel my flow state. She can feel my freedom from outcome, which is one of the most attractive qualities on a man. Not fake freedom from outcome, real freedom from outcome. And I start walking right over to her. There's this nice tension between us. It's, there's a conduit, a bubble, and we're pulled in. It's loud, it's thumping. And I walk right up to her and we get almost nose to nose. And she goes, I lost my friend. As she stared, I had to think about it for a minute. Yeah, she stared right at me, we were locked in. And she goes, I lost my friend. And then I reach down, I slide my hand down her forearm, I grab her hand, I'm holding her hand. And then I lean in and just start kissing her. And we're making out. Next thing I know is her friend comes up and grabs her other hand. I can see her friend in the peripheral of my vision holding her hand, not knowing what to do awkwardly as we're making out. And then I pull back and I look at her. And I go, looks like you found your friend. And she goes, uh-huh. And she just keeps staring at me, that tension's still on. 
Now, how does something like that happen? Everything I just talked about. She's watching me work the room. She's feeling me in flow state. She's feeling my freedom from outcome. Everything's moving. And, and because of that, the moment just connects. It works. And it's powerful. There's so much at play in the subcommunication and an energetic level, you just can't see it all. And this is what I was showing to him in, in the bar the other night on a subtler level. I was just moving around, talking to people a little bit, getting him to talk to people. And he started to connect more and more because he was always saying hi to people with a little bit of want, a little bit of want of validation, a want of uh, approval. And there was like, hi, and there's a lingering and a hovering. And what this does is by going from person to person and giving yourself maybe 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes and trying to talk to and talking to everybody in the bar and really owning that section as you do it more and more and you keep working on your embodiment while you do it you're becoming more free from outcome you're becoming more grounded you're becoming more solid you're becoming more attractive it helps to develop that and then you go up and grab a girl's hand and this is one of the keys as you're rolling through the bar now people the women are seeing you and you can bump right into them slide down grab their hand and if you feel a nice squeeze back, she's probably on some level interested and you haven't even talked to her. She's been watching you for 20 minutes though, 30 minutes, an hour, 45 minutes, and she's curious. That's not a 10 second, 30 second, one minute interaction. That for her, that's a 30, 45 minute interaction. And suddenly it's game on. So hopefully you like this video. Um, the thing I wanted to share with you at the end, before I do though, uh, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe make sure to share all that stuff make sure to comment go out and play with this take down notes get it down go out and do it and i really want to hear what you guys have to say we we, we just call it working the room the other thing i want to share with you is that next week um or within the following week of this video or within two weeks i want you to watch for um a notice i'm gonna i want to get landon in an interview and i want him to share his experience of us doing this and we're gonna do a live call on a tuesday night where we take your questions so if you go out and practice this and work it and play with it and i don't expect you to get it perfect it, it, it takes balls to do this but when you get it it has so many rewards in every area of your life not just with dating because you start to build more confidence everywhere uh, and then I want you to come on and I want you guys to ask the questions on that call with Landon, with me. And uh, Landon just started to learn it, but it really had a nice impact on his life. So, and with that said, make sure to check out that video, Letting Go of Women, that'll be clipped in here. Uh, uh, that'll be in here. And, uh, and also, um, I'll give you one more video. Make sure to check out my last video that was on your relationship to pain. And, and if you can change that relationship to pain, how much more powerful you become. Because that, both those videos directly relate to going out and working the room. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to stay with the new uh, tagline for a bit. What would you do if you were fearless? What would you do if you were fearless? I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a beautiful day.